Oh, I just grabbed the phone and it was on, so I said, let me do this. That's how organized I am. This is, let me, uh, being I'm in here, I didn't know the phone would be on. It takes a few minutes before I make a video. That's one of the, uh, it's the one of the organization command center. I started, it'll be uh, light in a second. It's uh, Tuesday morning. I get up at 3 o'clock or so today, 3.30. And if I don't sleep well, that's fine. I'll just like start. It takes about three hours to do my normal pre preparation, teaching, all these sites you see me work on. So I figured that's all right. I'll be done at 6.30, and which is fine. Uh, that little uh, computer I showed you, which is my other office back there, I have one in here, the Internet Center, co Command Center. I decided to uh, upload <laughs> YouTube. Let me do that real quick. Those of you that saw some of the videos, and one of them is not on YouTube. That's the banned YouTube video, where I kind of showed... Look, we try to be honest in everything without manipulation or bias, okay? And uh, the other day, because of all these new video sites, I have a lot of video sites and a lot of websites. And I just started sharing some videos from very unknown sites that were brand new, and they're not streaming sites, meaning the only views that you would ever get on those videos from the newer ones, Dropbox, Sync, and Megano, were simply people that would be viewing them uh, right from my blog. Now, the blog is just one website. Ultimately, all these videos then get linked to every post, to every website, meaning I could never delete a video. Okay? You say, do you ever go back and have second thoughts? Uh, everybody does. But I decided a long time ago, regardless of, you, I, I don't want to ever try to purge a website from anything that might, oh, that one doesn't look good, that, no, that way ever, you, in scripture you get everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But it would be impossible for me to ever, unless, like a Vimeo, they deleted, you. look, I'm just tired, okay? I'm not on drugs. Sometimes people say, Joe must be drinking because he uh, stumbles or mumbles. No, no, no. It's just the body gets tired sometimes. So every video, every link, and, every, and it's intended to be that way. Meaning, if I ever dropped dead or somebody, it, it wouldn't make a difference. The, there's a scripture, I like it, this I don't know if this will ever have a value for the future. John says, John the Baptist said, I'm the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare you the way of the Lord. I did the teaching video Sunday, this past Sunday. Today is Tuesday, December 4th. And then that night, I my one on Sunday night, being I study regular chapters throughout the whole Bible throughout the week, I figure Sunday night I'll read one chapter of Isaiah <coughs> every Sunday. And you know, in the Sunday sermon, I was talking about Abraham and the promises, and, and sure enough, the chapter in Isaiah was, look to the rock that you are cut out of, Sarah that bear you, for I called him alone. I called him alone, and I did the promise of God to Abraham he was alone and then God increased him and so there's a sense of uh, whatever God's called you to do look no man will stand with you in this say Michael the archangel it's a prophecy to Daniel and God said to Daniel I'm going to show you a lot of things Daniel read Daniel 10 and 12 and it says and some of these things that God was showing Daniel he could not fully comprehend or understand but then God says, and no man's going to, except Michael, the, the prince, Michael the archangel will stand. Supernatural things that take place in God's kingdom, all right? So what I did is the little test for my uh, YouTube. I, I recognized 
just by accident when I started posting some of those other videos to, to my blog, just one out of many. I said, how? Initially, I thought, oh, this has got to be, this other site has got to be a good site. Look, right away, even as I was sitting down the post, and then post next video, as soon as you go back, already 20, like within a few seconds, I said, oh, that can't be, because I'm not getting luck, even that on YouTube at all. Then I look, every other video I post from every other site had about five to seven times the views of a YouTube video. That's how you saw. So I had maybe five other site video, 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 and then one that was seven times less, eight times less, then every other one up in the numbers, up in the numbers, up all equal. Meaning whoever's viewing the videos just from that side, they're not just skipping the YouTube one. So it would take, if somebody was to investigate it, it would take somebody like myself that is posting from multiple video sites. And then you look at the trend and say, that something's not right. So what they did, it's dishonest practice. So I investigated a little more. But what they did was they decided to uh, maybe every five views I get or something, they give one on YouTube. None of the other sites. That's deceptive. So last night, oh, and then I said, let me do one little trick. One more test. I copied a link from my YouTube video site. Instead of sharing it from YouTube, to all the sites which you have the capability, those of you familiar with YouTube, I copied the link, <coughs> just shared the video link from YouTube, and then it was equal to the other numbers, five, seven times higher. So they're able to, uh, there's a name for it, but they're able to dial back the views of people who have different political opinions now, and they do that, and they did do that. Because when I finally, the final test, I saw it last night, <coughs> copy the link from YouTube video, post that link, and it shows you the real views you're getting. I had also a Christian person on their own tell me a while back, John, I watched your Roman study multiple times, just as going through it. And I do that when, I, when I'm going through, like, the philosophy teachings I listen to on Netflix or whatever. Many people that are students will re-watch things. And, with, and I looked at YouTube, and you, if you Google, Google is owned by YouTube. Google owns it now. And if you Google, what about the fake things that YouTube is doing? They block it from Google search. If you go on the other search engines, it shows you. What a manipulation. Those of you that understand that, uh, Bing and Firefox or whatever, if you go on those search engines, there's articles, yes, they practice deceptive business practices. Google search will hide that. There was one article, though, that I did find on Google, because it was a news article, and they thought, oh, we can't block this one. And it showed, and it was... Uh, you know, it showed pictures of Google search in the article. And it was interesting, just to show you the manipulation. Now, mind you, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a conservative. I'm not a liberal. But what they found was if you typed into Google L-Y-I as a search, the thing that popped up just when you got to those three letters was Lying Ted. Lying Ted Cruz. And you say, but that's, that's not political. Google's political, trust me. You say, that's just, it was common vernacular during the political campaign. Okay, the same person then typed in crooked, because in the same political campaign and our bad speech in our country, you had things like Lying Ted and Crooked Hillary, which I don't agree with those terms at all, to use it in the political atmosphere, though I believe there are things that were corrupt with certain people. 
Okay, so now this guy typed in crooked in Google search. It, it said crooked chief. Didn't say crooked Hillary, which term was used just as derogatory as lying tech. So you just put L-Y-I, lying tech, lying tech, Google search. What about crooked? Okay, then he typed in the name Hillary. H-I-L. Still no crooked Hillary. L, still no crooked Hillary. A, still no crooked Hillary. R. Did it finally show crooked Hillary because a lot of that speech was used? No. It said crooked Hillary and Bernie. Crooked Hillary and Bernie. Google figured if people are going to search for something that would be negative towards a, a candidate they supported a lot, Hillary Clinton, they would skew the search rankings and then it would include a competitor of Hillary in the primary by the name of Bernie Sanders, who Google didn't want Sanders. They felt Sanders as an independent would take votes away. Now look at the political bias and manipulation. Why could this rank, I, I was thinking of a joke before I made the video. I've seen this Google guy that's in charge of Google and like Zuckerberg, they, the joke was going to be, I won't, but how, are, you, are you a citizen, whatever your name is in Silicon Valley or wherever you're headquartered, are you an American citizen? And even if you are, what gives you the right to interfere in a U.S. election like that through manipulation. And I understand as a private company that you've kind of skirted certain things. But that's manipulation. Now, where do you cross federal possible law? There goes John. I do not monetize videos, meaning I don't sell ads. But my few videos that are indeed on YouTube, the ones that they fake the views, there are ads on those. I choose not. There's other sites that, even the ones I write on, like Medium, you could, because I had to become a member just so I could post some free. But members on Medium mean you can benefit. There's many of the sites where you can benefit from ad revenue. I do not take ad revenue from any of the sites. But YouTube gets ad revenue, meaning there's ads that if people are watching some of my YouTube videos in certain areas, then ads will pop up, so they're making money. <coughs> Here's where it's possible that they practice fraud. The fact that they do that in the rankings, and I read some more and I saw it on the... You could be having people that are on YouTube, and YouTube itself can be generating revenue, like Facebook does, from ads. And then you could be lying to the people who do monetize. See, you can't just manipulate views like that or search rankings because you're also a business that's making money and that's involved, if you will, in interstate, interstate trade. And there's laws in our country. I won't say Mr. Habib as a joke. I love my Arab Muslim. But there's laws in our country. You know, the laws in India. This, a lot of these internet scammers that scam the whole world come out of India. The ones that are always faking, and this is the IRS calling you this, they have the, all these like internet cafes. And they have, uh, just to be honest, I've heard, they have a very low standard of truthfulness in certain countries. And you're welcome to be in this country, this wonderful, beautiful country. But you don't bring your low standards with you when you come. The whole deal with the assimilation of various cultures, whole debate we have in our country. So, it, indeed, it's possible. And the person that did that news article on the thing I discussed a minute ago, he was saying basically they were manipulating, and they are manipulating uh, the masses and even in an electorate to influence. Okay. CNBC had a top article yesterday, this is going to be a teaching video, but the top article was, and this is, Mr. Zuckerberg and Facebook are also receiving the brunt of this whole political media manipulation machine. 
which indeed social media is a part of it, and they do it. I just gave you that example. But they have turned the targets on Mr. Zuckerberg. CNBC had a top story, me checking the news yesterday on the phone. One of the top stories was Facebook employees who have quit Facebook are now being contacted by former Facebook employees on how they can get out of Facebook and find other jobs. Top story on a CNBC business site, which made it into top news, because that's how I don't go to CNBC, but I look at ABC, NBC, CBS, and of course you're going to see. So, many millions of people will be reading that story yesterday, online news, giving the impression that a lot of people fled Facebook, a lot of employees, and the ones that fled, quit, are being contacted. The impression was by maybe thousands, twenty thousands, I don't know the total uh, number of employees, but how many. Then when I read the article, I think they interviewed six people who quit, not in a week, not in a month, but in two years. Okay, you had six employees leave a fairly big company, Facebook, one of the biggest uh, money-making tech in the world, and only six. They interviewed those six who left over a period of two years now, and there was like two or three employees that contacted them about another job. That's a disgrace that they manipulated that story in that manner. The fact that they had to go out and search, that's what they did. Some media outlet, CNBC, said, let's go search for former Facebook employees. Let's see how many we can find. I'm sure they were very unimpressed with the number that they could only find six former ones over a period of two years that might have been contacted by three other employees. About not, That's nothing. That should have, that, that should have, to be quite honest, that would show that there's a lot of satisfied people working for Facebook. That's what that would show in a company that size. But the media put it as Facebook people were fleeing the business and former employees were being contacted. It was a manipulation, but that's what you see. Mr. Zuckerberg, I think, now realizes the people that he aligned himself with, the, the Google people who have an algorithm that when you put L-Y, Lion Ted pops up, okay? Then you spell Crooked Hillary and that never pops up. And if you almost spell her whole name out, it says Crooked Hillary and Bernie. Okay, this is a manipulation. And in the thing I'm talking about, monetization, when you lie about uh, views and these and things of that nature, you don't get away with manipulation of U.S. citizens. And when you come to this country, because I believe the guy heading up Google is of a foreign ancestry. And when you come here and you say we have a worldwide thing, whatever, whatever country you have come from, if they did business that way, if you will, in India or wherever it is, we don't do it that way here. We have laws against manipulation like that in this country. Okay, so that'll be just a little update. I wanted to let you know, uh, I did indeed find out they're doing that. I'm grateful for YouTube. It was one of my first video sites. I cannot delete the site, and I'll still utilize it. Why? Because all the links, the, I guess one of the worst uh, advertisements for the mayor would be, you see a lot of my posts and the repost. You'll see the Vimeo, when you click Vimeo, it says these videos no longer exist. Those were all the ones I linked. I don't go, I can't go back and unlink every one of them. So I would never be able to completely delete YouTube. If they watch this video and say, let's delete John, let's put crooked line, L-Y John, a line CCR. <laughs> no, no, India, you do that. In. Not in the U.S., okay? Let's have a little lesson, Mr. All right, so this is the news update. I think I, I did not check the news. I've been up since 3.30 doing. I'm transferring on that computer. This is, 
on that computer I showed you when I before I came to this back office. I, I'm just transferring every single. I have every video I ever made on flash drives, and I have a ton of flash drives. And really, man, it's got to be a lot of videos because flash drives hold a lot, or thumb drives we call them now. So I'm getting them all on one, and all these other mega upload sync uh, drive. One of them, I'm just going to upload the whole folder, and it takes. It took me maybe two days to transfer this because you're transferring from first I transferred from my thumb drive to the laptop thinking oh it's taken all day that was yesterday I said let me get the other flash drive and transfer directly to the other one right in the computer without going from flash drive to computer computer then and I figured let me just get every single video I ever made on I'm putting them on other sites as I speak slowly but I figured for whatever it is 10 a month uh, for this Dropbox and these others because we live in a world where you, what you want is you want uh, the worst thing that I'm glad I found out that YouTube does that and is doing that and like I said I had people tell me John we watched you know church uh, YouTube says I looked at it, you, and even on Google, they admitted it. They said, we don't attribute views, for instance, if it's a rewatched video, meaning if a church or some ministry is using our Romans teachings and, and rewatched the video or Hebrews or whatever, and they watched it and they did, they said, we don't count that because nobody would watch a video more than once. That was part of what YouTube said. I thought, oh, what a joke. You got a one million cat video, like people that are a funny cat. Well, I got one million. I did one million. Yes. So you actually have people watching my long videos. Most of mine are, are about thirty minutes. And they say, well, most people wouldn't watch it. There. No, if you're studying, <laughs> I watch thirty minute history, philosophy, whatever world history. So, so they're they're thinking, oh no, people are not interested in learning. That, that's in their mindset. So YouTube actually doesn't credit if somebody, they don't believe somebody could watch a 30 minute video. I'm looking, I was reading it up on it. They said, and who would watch a Bible video for 30 minutes? John, I understand there are other Christian videos that have a lot of hits, but a lot of those are not talking politics or a lot of those, and it's not because people, like I said, they, they mask it. They do, they're doing deceptive business practices because the others that are monetizing, who knows if they're telling you the truth? Your people, not me, but people get ad revenue from how many videos are viewed. You say, well then what, YouTube, what benefit would Google and YouTube have to fake it? Look, they're still gonna get ad revenue. And they could tell the customer, oh, you just got this. Is it, look, there's people that believe this whole thing has to the, the regulate, but our country's too consumed with motels and rush. <coughs> our country is a waste of time. <coughs> Every liberal media outlet, and I'm liberal too, in many ways, when you wake up in your energy, whether it's MSNBC, CNN, in your energy, in your goal, in your focus, is to stop a man. Trump, a man can do so much. A man can appoint conservative judges to the Supreme Court, which was why a lot of people did indeed vote for Trump over the issue of abortion. And a president can set somewhat of an agenda. And then, of course, the Democrats, the first thing that Nancy Pelosi brought up is, we're going to pass a law, you got to show us your tax returns. The amount of the energy and effort you have spent for these two years, and now the Russian motel, you wasted so much time. You say, no, John, we, we believe in our view. We're Google, we're Google execs, and I'm, you, you pray. But we believe in our views. You could have you could have affected change by really focusing in 
educating the people in this country, the United States, about real things, about atrocities in Yemen, things that we hold some account of. No, no, you, you, you have one man in mind. That man, if he, if he finishes this term, if I don't know what the Mueller thing will show, and if he doesn't get impeached, or, he, uh, he'll be gone. I don't think he'll ever drop it. And you've wasted so much energy, so much effort. How much did it? How much did the engineers and the techs at Google have to do to have a silly search for engine? L Y Lang Ted Lang Ted Cruz L Y Lang Ted Lang Ted C R O O K E D slash H I L L L A No 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 Crooked. Okay, we get you. We understand you support this. These people that went to Canada, Bill and Hillary, and nobody showed up for the meetings. And they had a lower to take. We understand. You come to this country because you say we believe in your country. Then try to live up to the values that our country espouses or tries to espouse. Because as I saw the Google execs crying when Hillary lost, and some who, to me, didn't even look like U.S. citizens, to be quite honest like they're running an internet company out of India in a cafe shop calling my mother in New Jersey, which you have done, and said, this is the IRS, this is the IRS. And, and, and people in India and many businesses in that country, you lie constantly. And then you present yourselves as some type of an honest forum where People can, you're not that. You're manipulators. Okay? So, uh, that's why you see all these. That's why you see all these, my many things. Uh, all right, that's it for today. Whoa, I want 20. I want to, God bless everybody. You'll be singing, uh, I posted Samuel today. By the way, I got, because I'm, uh, because I was testing these video things, some reason we got a lot of like went up a few thousand I don't normally check trust me so we're like two thousand or two hundred and two thousand we were just two hundred thousand like one or two days ago and it normally doesn't go up like two thousand in two days <coughs> I'm grateful I'm thankful maybe YouTube which is connected to blogger maybe they realize oh he called us I don't know. All right, God bless everybody. We'll see what happens today.